Hey everybody, it's Aaron here with Robert and welcome to Get Your Geek On's review of Disney Plus's newest show, Obi-Wan Kenobi. And we're on part five, four? Correct. Oh, five. I was right. Yep. Yep, five. We, we have one more episode to go. But before we can get to that episode, we got to talk about episode five. Yes. Full spoilers. So uh, if you have not watched <clears> this <throat> episode yet, um, you know, go watch it. Come back. Join the conversation because uh, there's a lot to talk about with this episode in particular. OK. And, uh, you know, um, what did how, how do you feel about the series so far? We're almost at the end of the series yeah. so far and this episode. I mean, the series so far, I'm still enjoying it. Okay. Um, I'm not minding where it's going. But this episode, for me personally, was a very, very weak one. I honestly didn't enjoy it. I guess because, again, I'm trying to separate myself as, you know, a someone who likes to work on films and does our videos and all that stuff. And someone who just thinks logically. Because it's like, do we not remember the story of the Spartans? And how 300 stood against many. And I was like, this is weird. <laughs> but well, I love Spartans mean, in the Star Wars universe. What I will say in this one, again, this is a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away, <laughs> so they may not be aware of that story. You should send them the book um, about them. <laughs> but I, I will say that stormtroopers have always been viewed as fodder like they they right. don't care how many they lose because they can just keep throwing them at them so i did not necessarily have a problem with that i i will say um i think this might have been my favorite episode so far oh. um i still have some some questions and some concerns and you know i kind of laid those out in our last episode like of my right. overall series concerns um and those have not been alleviated yet um so it's not oh. like i'm i'm I, i'm just like okay i'm that's where we're at and unless they give me something to explain mm -hmm. it i'm just gonna always have that um but in terms of this episode i really enjoyed um you know the the intercut flashbacks and how they were informing oh. the present day yes. this is how you do it boba fett is you <laughs> have flashbacks that actually matter to the current day real um, quick was that from the film or was that something they shot separate no that looked brand, older it's okay. brand new and they did not do de-aging which no you that's could why tell I was so and it was weird i was like man you guys have done de-aging on a lot of things maybe they just couldn't get to lick right with all the movement or whatever yeah. I, maybe they didn't have hayden for enough time to do it i don't know because obi-wan didn't look like they, they were able to do his with makeup because he's got you know the beard and the hair and everything right. like they were able to make him look pretty similar um but you could tell with hayden christensen again because he's you know, clean shaven and all those things. Mm. It was like, I can see the bags. I can see like, and I'm not saying that he looks old. Like he, no. he doesn't look old. He but just he's not looks 15 20, years ago young. He yeah. looks 20 years older, which it's been 20 years since Attack of the Clones came right. out. And this is like <clears throat> set around that same time period. Um, so no, this was new footage, um, but I really liked the way that they did it. Um, I liked getting... The story of Riva, I think it's too late in the series. Like they should have given that us that to mm -hmm. us several episodes ago. But I still like that we got it, and I like um, her, you know, anger not just with Obi Wan, but also with Anakin having that come out, and Obi Wan, you know, using that to help these people escape. Right. You know, I I liked I like that the misdirection. And I really also liked um, Leia taking kind of an active role in, you know, uh, getting getting you know the hangar fixed, um, encountering her droid, and and seeing that it has this restraining bolt on it. Um, I thought kind of helps to uh, inform, you know, in it, it's not that it necessarily needed it, but in um, the very first Star Wars movie, A New Hope, you know, when they escape the Death Star after Obi Wan Kenobi has died. Um, you know, and Han Solo and Luke Skywalker are all like celebrating that, you know, we, we made this fantastic escape. And she's like, it was too easy, guys. Like they let us go. They're tracking us. Clearly mm -hmm. they're tracking us. And so I like that, you know, maybe she's relying on this, you know, nine years ago experience to say, this is what they do. They, they will let the small fish go and then follow it to find the big fish. Right. Um, 
And so, you know, the fact that that she discovered her droid like that, um, again, I have some issues, you know, the whole recording of Bail Organa where he literally like, you don't know if Obi-Wan's been captured at this point. Like you, you can't say yeah. all of those details and just yeah. have that. Like I'm going to Tatooine because Vader might know about his kids. And you're like, what? And even well, like he dropping, he does know now. Even dropping the name Owen, and it's like you can't. You like all of the breadcrumbs. You just, you just gave them the yeah. everything. It's like you, you can't it's, do that. No, like so, he's either been captured or they inter. You know, what's if they just caught the transmission? Because it's yeah. still a transmission. It's like they right. probably intercept that. So, so I had a problem with that. And then, of course, you know, like Reva has been making a lot of bad decisions, and this one is no exception. Like waiting mm-hmm. until like the ship is literally gone to then attack Vader. I was like, you needed to do it in the middle of like his rampage. Like you needed to like interrupt him, not like yeah. wait until he was brooding. It was like that didn't make sense. And then, of course, the lack of double tapping at the end does no one teach double tap in the sim why why did they not kill her like you literally just brought back another dude that was stabbed through the belly just like her he's standing right next to you apparently just fine and you have also had an arm and two legs chopped off like all the like you guys know how people survive in this universe like why did you not cut her head off? I don't understand. I'm Here's so what we're confused. gonna do. We're gonna give the rebels the movie 300 at least, so they understand how you know 300 can stand. And we're gonna give well, the all Sith. 300 of them died. So well, no, because I'm talking about the rebels though. They could have like put them in the little corridor and then just put those guys with the shields right there. And then just mowed them all down as they were coming through. Yeah, like well, there was these a are, tight corridor. This is before. This is this is not this is not the rebellion. This is the path. These are people that are used to running. They're used to being in the shadows. They have not formed a rebellion yet. They not know whose dad, uh, what's his name is? It's Ice Cube's dad, you know, or son. Yeah, I, they should I, know under- him. Should I understand, but they him. haven't. They like, this is him. not an organized, like, fighting force. That's why we're giving them 300 to well, watch. And they'll get there within the next <laughs> few years. We're going to watch Andor. And that's going to, you know, explain how they start to develop this mindset yes. where they're actually fighting the Empire and not just well, running and escaping and hiding. See, but I have to give the Empire something, so I'm going to give them Zombieland to watch so okay. they know these rules double of double yeah. tapping. Yes, because you're right. Like, when he did that to her, I was like, I thought he was going to cut her head off next. I was like, okay, cool. She's dead. Wait, you're just walking. Up. Not even the Grand Inquisitor is going to stab you? Like, if I was him, I'd be like, oh, I'm stabbing her, too. Like. She well, stabbed me. I'm stabbing you too. Like right. I don't care. Yeah. And it was funny too because he even like drops the line like you know revenge is like a uh, a yeah, great motivator exactly. to stay alive. But it's like so you're gonna leave her alive with this motivation of revenge. Like it was yes. so confusing to me. It, um, that scene made me lose interest. And for it a was moment. clear. And it was clearly like plot <clears throat> because as soon as uh you know Kamel Nanjiani um dropped oh, yeah, drops the it. communicator thing, I was like, well Vader cannot get that. Like Vader, because he can't know all that information. He can't. Because like, they would so, make the movies make no sense then, right? Right. So he can't know that he has kids. He can't know that they're on Tatooine. <clears throat> like he can't know any of this stuff. Um, and so I was like, okay, somebody else is going to get that. Who's the logical person? It's got to be Reva. Um, <laughs> they get double tap, and yeah. so I knew that she wasn't going to die, but okay, I was still yeah. just like, I, but like see, what are we going on? So here's my question, because yeah. is, is it the well, I guess fifth film where Vader tells Luke, I'm your dad, right? Or I'm your father. Correct. Yeah. Empire. Street. How does he know that Luke is his kid? Do we find so that somewhere else? It's It's been explained in other things that aren't movies. Oh, okay. so after the destruction of the first <clears throat> Death Star, he, you know, is trying to figure out, you know, like he's basically investigating what, ha- how did this happen? And so mm-hmm. he then hears of, you know, this rebel pilot of the last name of Skywalker which leads him down this path of, of discovering that the emperor had lied to him um, oh. and that, you know, and that this is his son. Um, and so he discovers it in that period between those two movies. And does he, fi- um, he figures out, I guess at that point, Leia is also his daughter. No, or? He doesn't know about Leia until Leia, return of the Jedi, because he kind of is able to read Luke's feelings, mm-hmm. um, which is a, a great moment. It's one of my favorite moments in Star Wars, like during their the throne room confrontation, when he's kind of, you know, 
he's he's trying to exploit Luke's feelings and make him attack him out of anger mm-hmm. kind of thing. And he starts to, you know, oh, your feelings are strong for your friends, especially for sister. And that's where oh. that's the first time he knows that, you know, and then, that's when he figures it all out. Yeah. And so like that's yeah. <clears throat> so, so he definitely does not know about Leia, doesn't know about Leia, Luke at yeah. this point in the timeline. Um, so, so yeah, yeah, he said that's why he can't get that communicator, because then right. it would make New Hope sound really far off because he would have yeah. killed him probably by then yeah it's 100 percent. there is zero chance that he is going to tatooine which makes me think that might have been the last time we're going to see him in this series but then um, it makes no sense to fight well i think then you could say that he got tricked mm-hmm. he got like that he got tricked into you know this whole scenario oh. and, and so like that that could explain it but i think you know That's based on one. based on where this episode ends Obi-Wan is sensing that Luke is now going to be in danger based on what Reva found. She's clearly going to go to Tatooine. Right. Um, and so I think that's where he's going to go. Again, Vader cannot, like Vader can't go there. That doesn't, mm-hmm. it, it will not make sense if Vader goes there. And so I think that might have been the last time we got Vader, which, I, you know, if that is the case, I, I, I don't love the way they left it but at least i you know it does make sense again i still have the same concern like you know that leia is very effective in drawing out obi-wan kenobi so why wouldn't you continue to pursue her kidnap her do all these things i don't know Um, yeah it's like why'd you give up on that unless you go with he doesn't know and it was all reva that knew all this no but reva told like reva told everybody that's true that's what she was doing so yeah no i again i I have that same story, but I, again, I thought this episode was a lot of fun. The fight between Vader and Reva was <clears throat> like super fun as he's just oh, yeah. using the force. Like he's not even, he he's never pulls his her. own lightsaber. Like he's like, okay, fine. I'll use your lightsaber if I, yeah. if I want to use one, but even then I still don't want to use it. Like I'll just use the force. Yeah. Like that was great. Um, and obviously the fact that he knew that she was a youngling, he, you know, all of those things, like, he's like, don't, don't, don't mess with me. Like, I know what's happening. Here. Yeah. Um, if he knows, I already knew too. Like, just know what, yeah. whatever he knows, I know. Yeah. So, so like that was, that was really good. I will say, um, I don't know if you felt this way, but, you know, as soon as Tala started telling uh, Kenobi what her, you know, like how she became a rebel, like oh, how yeah. she, I was like, <laughs> You're dead. Uh, you know, it, it's like the great responsibility <laughs> speech for Spider-Man. It's like, just here's your coffin. Like, <laughs> because because you are about to die i was waiting for that <laughs> and that's where, like i said so i mean i enjoyed- but it was a good sacrifice it i was. i you know and and bringing back a callback of a thermal detonator which is mm. um something from the original trilogy um so that you know it, again i liked it it was good i mean like i said i guess i i like you said they're not rebels so i, I try to give them the fact that like Y'all probably could have rigged that hallway to blow as well. If she had that big of a grenade, maybe she had more. Who knows? A thermal thing, detonator. Thermal detonator. I, my other thing is, though, like, you get all the stormtroopers. This is where I was really like, why didn't we just do this earlier? And it took me out for a minute. All the stormtroopers get there. They get that artillery to shoot the, the wall. And then she and has then the conversation sticks, with Obi-Wan. Yeah. <laughs> And as a stormtrooper, yeah. I would have been like, you could have just saved us like 20 minutes and just cut this thing already. Like, I didn't like that. That was just. Yeah, I mean, move I think. Story, but no, I think there's, you know, there's <clears throat> possible ex- explanations for that, which is that, you know, at that point, they feel like victory is inevitable and taking their time is actually going to cause, you know, more. <laughs> oh, pardon me. Um, more fear and you know and and they kind of feed off of the fear like that's a sith thing as they feed off of and so you can kind of explain it but yeah i had the same thought like when she did that i was like you know and and there were there were like three three odd things like that that i thought of in this episode okay that was one the the lightsaber thing and then the two the second thing was um after tala sacrificed herself by like Mm -hmm. she shoots the control panel to close the doors on Obi-Wan so that she can sacrifice herself. But then like three seconds later, Obi-Wan gives himself up and the door just works. Yeah. Like, even, even though the door panel has been shut, I was like, you know, we've seen in other, we've seen in other times when they've shot door panels that like the door doesn't just work then. Um, so that might be my door scene. Uh, and told you then, that doors. <laughs> and then the third one was, 
when you know obi-wan and reva have their little conversation after he's given himself up and she directs like the two stormtroopers to like take him into the hangar yeah i was like well and it's like okay so i guess she knew he would escape and she did it on purpose but it still just felt like if i was one of those stormtroopers i'd be like can i get some more like reinforcements <laughs> like like, Can I get his lightsaber too so I could like stab him with it if I need to? Because this guy is clearly going to overpower us and kill us, and I'm not okay with that. And that's the funny um, thing. It's like one of those walking over your dead bodies, like buddies that's like, yeah, I'm gonna join you guys in about five minutes. So I'll see you on the other soon side. As guys. soon as those yeah. doors close behind us. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't yeah, you actually hit everything I didn't like because it was the same <laughs> thing. It was Okay, you shot the. I had, it was my door scene again. I'm like, yep, that shouldn't be working technically. All right, whatever. But yeah, I'm just gonna send two stormtroopers, and then Vader's like, I'll go do it myself. Not thinking like, you sent stormtroopers that me and him have killed hundreds of droids and other things before. Like they're already dead. So I would yeah, snap your neck. And then what is on. that? The Matrix. You know, I sent a squad up after no lieutenant. Your no, men are, are already, already dead. dead. Yeah, exactly. Like it was that scene, and like. Yeah. I think I would have been sold a little bit more if he would have like pulled out his lightsaber or something, been like, they're dead or whatever. Like, just make a comment like, why did you let him go or something? Like, he should, like, I guess you could say it's leading up to the whole he knows she, he's about to get backstabbed anyway. So he's just going to play along. He's going to kill the, her. The slowest backstab in history, though. Oh my God. It's like she took so long to do it. I was like, oh why? Like, why are you not attacking him way before this? And it was. Yeah, yeah. well, he's distracted technically. Like, he might not send I me. Mean, yeah, he probably should still censor, but he might not because he's in a fit of rage. And then it's like, stabby, stabby. And then, <laughs> you know, don't double tap because he'll, so we can bring him back, you know, just say yeah. don't double tap. I don't no. know. But yeah, it was still a good episode. Just for me, it was a weaker one because of those little like potholes like that. Yeah, I think I think like <clears throat> this was one where everything going on with the characters and particularly, again, the flashback, I just really liked it and the way it yeah. integrated with the current story. Like, even though I was noticing those things, I was kind of like, OK, I'm just going to move past it. Like, yeah. OK, they got the door working again. I don't know why, but I'm just going to move past it. OK, like they, you know, yes, she could have used her lightsaber earlier to get through that door, but she didn't. So whatever. I'm just moving. like, I think yeah, because I was liking everything else that was happening in this episode i was able to just kind of move past those things yeah but they're all totally valid like i saw the same things he did i just kind of was like nah. um but i will say that i think that speaks to my overall enjoyment of the series so far that this was my favorite episode because even this i still had a lot of issues and concerns with it and yeah. i do i do think that you know uh, unfortunately this ep this series has just not lived up to my hopes for it um up to this point maybe the final episode will blow me away um but maybe. you know i guess we'll have to wait and see we will and hopefully it'll, they'll they'll wrap it up nice and tight but on that note definitely stick here if you want to let us know want to know our opinions and our thoughts of it and of course check out all of our other stuff at official gygo on facebook tiktok instagram and youtube all at that same handle and uh, next week will be the last episode for this one. We will still be continuing our review of Ms. Marvel, though. That will be what they have like seven episodes for that. Or I don't know how many they announced. I mean, most of the Disney Plus shows <clears throat> have either been six or then we had like WandaVision was nine. I think She-Hulk is supposed to be nine. What if was nine? Um, so they've all been, I think, either six or nine. Um, I don't know how many Ms. Marvel is supposed to be. I, I think it's supposed either. to be six. But I'm we'll not, see. So I'm I mean, still got quite a few weeks then of that yeah. one. So mm -hmm. definitely then, check everything out on that. And then Thor: Love and Thunder. I mean, is right around the corner. Um, that's it that's is. like. And then in if less than a month, I did my math right. After that, there's eight weeks till something else comes. Anything else comes out? What? Just commenting. I don't. I don't think that's accurate. You might want to double check. That's my way of trying to get him to rewatch Inhumans. I don't think that's accurate because I think we've got She-Hulk. <laughs> We've got what if season two at some point. We've got the bad batch, you know, like that. Uh, you add the bad batch to that. All right, maybe there's there's things coming. There's things coming. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to watch. I it. don't know. I'm not watching <laughs> humans. You can't make me. <laughs> I can't even get him to watch Starship Troopers. <laughs> but on that note, guys, definitely go check all that stuff out. I'm Aaron. That's Robert, and this is Get Your Geek On. Stay geeky 